My name is Ojo Isaac. I am the manager of Presta Royal Concept. Presta Royal Concept is an accounting software company located in Ikeja, Lagos. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, please click on the subscription button so that you will continue to receive professional and educative videos from us. This video is about setting up of vendors or suppliers. You want to set up video, set up uh, vendors or suppliers. You click on maintain menu, select vendors tab. This window will display. This is maintain vendors window. It will display. Then this is the enter the vendor ID, enter the vendor name. The vendor name is very, very important and the ID also important. Enter the mailing address, vendor type and expense ledger. So we will use our case study. Let's go back to case study. This is the case study we will be using. So in this case study, we have the following vendors to this company. IT World, number one, followed by Mandara Latos, followed by John C.K. Limited, followed by Ade Autoworks, and Power Holding of Nigeria. These are the vendors. So we start by setting up the first vendor who supply physical goods to the company. So the account ID, the supplier's type or vendor type and the address, all these will be taken into consideration when you are setting up vendor. So if you want to set up a vendor now, let's say we want to set up IT world. We go back to the software C50 and open the maintain vendors ledger. This is the vendor ID. You enter the vendor ID. After that, you enter the full name of this particular vendor. So what is the full name? IT World Nigeria Limited. Enter the full name. So when you enter the full name, you will now also enter the address, the billing address. The contact person is the the contact is the name of the person that you only talk to there. Maybe Mr. Amadin. Enter the name there. The account number, no. The account number here is if your company allocates numbers to vendors. Then let's go to mailing address. Mailing address is the address that you will enter in your in your vendor's ledger and it will be used to send information to the vendor. So let's go there. Then we enter the mailing address. Mailing address is uh, number 57 Ubebe Street. Aja. Okay, so we enter the mailing address. Then Aja. After that, we enter uh, the city address, Lagos. Then the country, Nigeria. Then the vendor type. Let's go back to the case study. Vendor type, supplier. So this man or this company is the supplying all goods and services so what we do is say supplier then the next one is uh, we we'll look at there uh, is what is uh, the uh, expense account the expense account so we we'll look at the expense account the expense account is what so the expense account is say 50 for those that are supplying the organization 
physical item, physical goods like uh, toilet roll, like computers, like phones. These are physical items. This expense account for physical item is say fifty. Is accounts payable, which is two zero 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 zero. That is twenty thousand. If you click on the expense account here, you will see. If you enter twenty thousand, you will see the display of expense account. So that is for those that are supplying physical items. You enter the telephone number zero zero eight zero two six three eight three nine zero one so that is the telephone number so i will throw more light on another aspect of uh, setting up vendors we have two types of vendors in stage 50 and we'll be giving that kind of uh, uh, training to be able to set up it these two types of uh, vendors differently so let me save this one, then I'll go back to explain the second tag, which is uh, the supply of services. This has been saved. Now let's go back to the case study. On the case study here, we see a day auto works. And the vendor type is what? Mechanic. Then the address is Amandi, number 12, Amandi Street. This simply means or tells you that this particular vendor is a service vendor. It's a service vendor. And power holding is a service vendor. Which means they do not supply physical goods. Because they do not supply physical goods, they supply services to your organization. You need to set them up as a service um, vendor. So let's go back to C50 and do so. So in C15, we will be able to set up the following. So let's get a new a new place to be able to set it up new. So we we'll go to the vendor ID and enter the vendor ID. The full name, let's look at the full name again. The full name is what? A day auto works. A day auto works. That is the full name. So we have to enter the full name there. So that uh, we'll be able to have it in our database and then auto works it's a mechanic then let's go to the address the mailing address what address are we giving there we're giving number 12 amani street so we enter the address there so we have to enter it properly so that uh, we'll be able to use it very well in our postings so we enter it uh, Ikeja, or that is uh, the second uh, bus, the city Lagos. Enter again the country Nigeria because it's a Nigerian. Then vendor type mechanic, as I said before. So mechanic we can now enter the, the service type that is, is uh, that is uh, doing to the organization. So you can now enter mechanic there so in this so you'll be able to uh, set it up properly okay so let's see it's a, yeah it's mechanic so let's see whether it, it will go to contain mechanic the bus there mechanic is able to contain it fine that, that is the end then when you come to expense account the expense account for this mechanic is the ledger that you have created to record all the transactions of this particular vendor. So, if you have created a motor vehicle maintenance ledger, you will be able to set it up properly in that uh, ledger. So, you click here, is the expense account, it, is, it will not be 200 or, or uh, yeah, 200, which is the accounts payable. No. It's the expense account that you have created. So then we will now look for the closest expense account, e.g. auto expenses. Look at it there, auto expenses, 6100. So you now select that, and that will be the expense account that this very particular um, 
software will be using to uh, record all the shahatan against this very uh, uh, ledger. So now let us uh, save. At this stage, we have to save. You save. Yeah, we have saved. So after saving, I want to see the list of what you have done. Just click on list here and it will display all the information that you have recorded. The same thing goes for that of uh, the customers. You click on list, you see all of them. Even if it's 1,000 in, in it, it is show all the list there. So after that, if you want to go for another one again, you click on uh, new. So you will be able to set up your bank.